When you're creating ads on Facebook, there are a lot of things that you can do to really target your market carefully and to get insight into who that market is and how you would like to market to them. I wanted to show you a tool in Facebook Ads Manager called Audience Insights. Now this is a really cool place to just dig around and get data. The first thing that you're gonna find is choosing an audience. I like to choose everyone, but you could also choose people connected to your page, or if you've created a custom audience, you could use that. Right now, I'm just gonna use everyone on Facebook. And what this is gonna give me is very general demographics. I've already limited it to the United States, and I'm gonna change the age range from 18 to, let's see, 20 to 45. And this will give us an idea right off the bat. 52% are women, 49% are men. I think I'm gonna narrow that a little bit more and narrow it down to women only. And I'm gonna go ahead and look at interests. And this will drop down a whole bunch of information that we can choose from. And you can choose in these categories or you can create your own by just typing it in. I'm gonna go into fitness and wellness and let's look at meditation. So right now we're seeing how many people, 42% of women between 25 and 34 are interested in meditation. If we look at lifestyle, we see all of these different categories. And these are really interesting because these are categories that Facebook created and it gave them these kind of cutesy names. This one's soccer and SUVs. So I guess they're targeting soccer moms, cartoons and carpools. So in this age group, they're, we're getting some idea of who these are. And it's really very interesting to go through these and just mouse over the little eye so that you can learn more about each group. But I'm not gonna dig into that right now. We're gonna get into that a little deeper later. So I wanna show you some other things that we can do here. We can also look at relationship status, education level, typical job title. So really the ones that are meditating the most, interestingly, are in sales. So digging through these can give you a lot of information about the market that you're going to be targeting and how you're gonna write your ads for that. Now the other thing that I wanna look at is advanced. And I kinda of wanna know how much money these folks make. So I'm gonna go ahead and target people that make 125 to 150,000. Now notice that the lifestyle has changed. So now we're seeing what they call career builders and we're seeing the relationship status change slightly and some of the job titles have changed as well. So now another interesting thing we can look at is what pages do these folks like? When we look at the top categories, arts and humanities, humans of New York, they like the Dalai Lama, they like Sephora, and we can look and see which one of these pages they like. So what we might wanna do if we're running ads for meditation is we might want to target fans of humans of New York or the Dalai Lama. It doesn't always make sense. Sephora, Buzzfeed, The Color Run, Groupon, these are other things that these people are interested in. And you may actually pay less money for targeting people who have different interests that aren't quite as narrow as meditation and the Dalai Lama. So think about how these pages relate to what you're going to be saying. We can look at all of these and kind of get an idea of what might be relevant to them and what they might be interested in. Other things that we can look at are location. If we wanna target a particular location, this is very useful. Activities and how often they have those activities. Are they using devices? And how often do they use those devices? So are they accessing Facebook on mobile? You can look at the household information that we have. And because we've narrowed this down, you know, we're gonna get an idea already of what their income level is. Home ownership is interesting. Maybe we wanna target homeowners who meditate, household size, how they spend their money. You can get an incredible amount of information here. The last thing I'm gonna look at is purchase behavior. Do they have high or low retail spending? Do they purchase a lot online? In this case, it doesn't look like they do. What do they purchase? They purchase clothing, subscription services, food and drink, 
pet products. So as you drill into this, you get to know a lot about your market and you can create spreadsheets or you can create personas of who you want to target. And then you can think about how you're going to write your ads so that they target this market. Now this is just barely touching the surface. We could go into a whole class on this, but I wanted to give you an idea and encourage you to go in, dig around and take a look at these different audiences and see how they work for you.